definitely gonna do some some songs off it's go time and this time next year and gambling problem and 40 hour train like the time. and um I don't even know if I'm really tuning I'm just <laughs> talking yeah. <laughs>
Or is that the whiz? <laughs> or coconut. That was short lived. Crazy Eddie. I say PC Richards. They're still going, they're still going strong. Circuit City. Stop. <laughs> I got a new tuner today and I don't, I don't know how to use it. He's like, it's, it's really easy to use. You know? I'm a moron. Alright, cool. Is everyone having a nice evening so far? This is a nice gathering of good ass people uh, chilling. Make some noise for the whole evening, please. Ryan Hunter. Um, of Envy on the Coast fame. He's a close friend and uh, I thought he was incredible. And, um, you know, Arthur and Richie are guys that I you know, definitely looked up to. Um, and so, such good bands everybody was in. And um, or still are in, in certain cases. But yeah, this, this one goes out to the memory of Into Another and Seaweed at Irving Plaza. That was my favorite show that Richie ever played that I saw. Ah, <laughs> oh, Seaweed. <laughs> I'm going to see Seaweed in Brooklyn soon. I'm really yeah. excited. <laughs> Someone said it's sold out. I, I can't believe it's sold out. No. We'll talk about it after. <laughs> No, but I guess it's going to be 
We'll see. We'll figure it out. I love vinyl, though. What should we do? Any requests? Green eyes. Tattoos. Green eyes. Sailor Green eyes. Green eyes. Green eyes. Green when she called my sneakers and his shoes, I knew she was from the West Coast or the best coast, like she said.
You guys know Christian McKnight. He's been booking shows on Long Island for like fucking 65 years. Fuck him! And, uh, like, in between Arthur's set and my set, he's like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go buy some underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but I thought about it, and I thought that was a practical thing to do, because it was just getting too late after the show, there wouldn't be. Yeah! Which means yeah. you absolutely had no wearable underwear for one night. Fuck off. She'd ask my girlfriend, she'd piss. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> well, you missed some songs. Do you want me to play them again? I do, yeah. Nobody gave me a salad. Nobody answered me. Everyone's like, no, don't. <laughs> okay, I will. I've been playing guitar in a little while. My fucking hand is fucked. I already played that one. Walking out. Uh, <laughs> The thing with walking on glass is there's that walking on glass that I can't sing. I know you can do it, but you guys are singing very quietly. Even though I see everyone's mouths moving, so you promise to sing louder from here on in. All right, I'll do walking on glass. You mind these are all like pseudo punk songs played on an acoustic guitar with no distortion or drums or mosh parts. So. Failing. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Acoustic circle pits have happened. <laughs> Alright, um... Broken, stood by the fireplace. 
The first songs were all the first songs were all mellow, and uh, now that I'm yelling and I'm wearing fucking five layers, <laughs> and I'm wearing an Inky and Dagger shirt, as well. so that just makes me happy. <laughs> you don't like it? You don't like That's my Inky and Dagger impression. Where's that going? Oh fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> Inky and Dagger is the best punk band of. Oh, well, they made one of the best punk records. <laughs> I didn't like this stuff on Buddy Head. Do you guys know Inky Dagger, any of you guys? They're really like... They were a band that... For the younger folks, they were a, ba- a band that... Maybe would have been huge now, because all they sang about was being vampires. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hate it when people are like... Vampires fucking suck, dude. Like, it's so played out. I'm like, no, no, no. Vampires will always be vampires. It's not like vampires are uncool because of this TV show on, like, the My Nine. <laughs> vampires are, vampires are ch- chilling on the shelf, and you can't really touch them. I mean, you can fuck around with it. But, like, vampi- vampires are cool. It's not... Like, <laughs> um, especially when Ink and Dagger's talking about them. What's up? What's that? The one that sparkles. Vampire that sparkles? <laughs> That's just a, like a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> like a Tinkerbell type of like teeth, long teeth. <laughs> Murderous. I never played that acoustic. <laughs> You're a bad, you'll sleep on. 
I stole those last lyrics from a band called The Magnetic Fields. It's gotta live. I steal lyrics all the time. Sometimes I give credit though. It was a thing. That's what Long Island was. All the singer dudes that, all the dudes that became singers and shit, we all just learned how to rip shit off. And uh, it's just, that's just what the way it is. It's the way it was. Completely accepted practice on Long Island. Till like, a lawyer called and shit. Well, it never mattered until everyone's band blew up and like started touring and shit. I don't think anyone got in trouble. Uh, Jamaican X, I'm sure it would, but I've never played it on guitar. Trailers. <laughs> I got some more songs. Are you guys chilling? Are you guys stoked? Are we are we hanging out right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
shows are fucking incredible. Oh, all, the people, all the people that come to see us from Jersey are fucking awesome. Hey, that's I mean, like, when we go to Jersey, yeah. we get lots, lots of love. <laughs> and, uh, what else? Oh. Save the Dates from Jersey, that's fucking true. Yeah. <laughs> What else? Oh yeah, most of my family lives in New Jersey, so that's nice. That's good. That's yeah. Fa- family is over there. I'm just gonna have a sip of water in here. Let's cover sometime. Let's buy a bank old safe today. Maybe March, doing an avalanche show. Uh, some po- uh, uh, I don't know if we're doing it here or or that like uh, country club spot. Or I don't know. Uh, avalanche will play here uh, in March though on Long Island. I'm really excited for that. It's been quite a long time. And then of course I'm the Avalanche and the Movie Life will both be playing at Bamboozle. So we got a good. We got a good little. I'm very excited about about. There's only 50% of the words can be said. I really do love Waka Flocka and a lot of thugged out commercial hip hop. Even the bad stuff I do like. As soon as T-Pain comes into the picture, I'm out. Or Akon. I will take T-Pain over Akon. Pinky Swear! That one would be super weird acoustic, so we I want to do Pinky Story Bamboozle, though. I'm going to make sure we do that. We're not just going to show up. Movie Life's not going to show up and just play all the songs that you expect. We're going to play, like, deep tracks. That's the first time I've ever used that term. Usually that term is for like a Zeppelin anthology or something. I'm talking, I'm talking about a pop punk band from the, from the late 90s and early 2000s. Um, Operate. Take our Conan O'Brien. Thank you. I want to do I want to do one more movie like song and one, and one avalanche song. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pick these last two. This is uh, this song is off of the album this time next year. Band practice real quick. I think I know this. Let's see what happens. Yesterday, walked away.
I think I know it now. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't say anything. Just watch you melt. Just watch you melt away. Thank you. Thanks for listening to me figure out a movie life song from 10 years ago in front of the crowd. I appreciate that. Oh, I, um, uh, this will be my last song. And um, is that too little? Is that, I think it's just right. <laughs> I'm sick of my song. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for letting all of us come and play music for you. And... Uh, Thank all the guys that played today and all of you guys and making this happen. And I'm sure that whatever got raised today is going to be super helpful. So um, let's pat ourselves on the back. Thanks to Andy, James, and Mo, and all the rest of the guys for for having me here, man. Um, I have some T-shirts and stuff over there um, by the table. I came and set them up and then I forgot about it. Um, if you want to buy some t-shirts, I'm just going to, you know, 50% uh, of that will go towards that as well. So even if you don't want a t-shirt, just buy one, give it to someone that does like me. And um, and uh, I think that'll be a really good thing too. We'll, we'll, let's generate a little bit of extra money after this set. How about that? I think the other 50% I'll pay for the shirts, but... <laughs> They're like a hundred dollars a piece. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Vinny. Um, take care and have a good night. And get home safe. This song's called "I Took a Beating." <laughs> My whole brain was about to explode. I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, I seriously had a mini anxiety attack over there. <laughs> seriously, I got so fucking thrown off. <laughs> Where's the rat when you need him? <laughs> what? No more, no clapping. Especially <laughs> you. I love you, dude. No, no, no. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh yeah, it's my hands are sweaty too. So. <laughs> Yeah.
Thank you so much for having me, guys. Have a good night and get home safe.